My uh, mom owns a hybrid RAV4 and it does not feel... Wow, yeah. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video we're going to be going over the all new 2022 Toyota RAV4 Prime. Pretty crazy vehicle, you guys will see in just a moment. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller, Toyota here in Murray for giving me some time with this RAV4. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Let's get right into the video. So under the hood, we have a 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through an eCVT transmission. This is also paired with a hybrid system. So it has a fuel economy equivalent rating of 94 MPGE. And then total system output is 302 horsepower. That's right, a Toyota RAV4 with over 300 horsepower. Now let's go over the front end of the RAV4 Prime. So first off, I love the sculpting here on the hood. I think the body lines look great. Coming down below, we've got the LED accent light with the projector bulb. And then notice we've got the accent here off to the side. And look at just how aggressive this front grille looks. And then notice how part of it is closed off because they're like, you know what? We don't need that for airflow. So we'll make it more aerodynamically efficient. Close it off. You got the blue around the Toyota logo that signifies this is a hybrid. And uh, overall, the front end of this actually looks pretty aggressive. Coming around the side here, we've got two 25 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the design on the wheels, I think they look fantastic. You've got the silver on the top and then you've got like that dark metallic gray just down below it. Uh, and overall it lends to a really cool design and this doesn't have weird hybrid or electric vehicle wheels. They look relatively normal. We've got our plug-in hybrid badge here on the side. We have our all wheel drive badge there on that side. And then you guys can see here with our full side view. And then we'll actually pop over to the other side. Wait for it. So you guys can see. And you guys will notice that there is a cap on either side. One of them is for the gas and the other one is so you can plug it in and charge it. Now here's our key fob. You guys can see that it says RAV4 there on the back. And I've got some pretty interesting functions here. We've got our lock, unlock, and then notice you've got the opening there for the hatch. And then you have the AC hold, which will uh, basically precondition the car when you hold that, which is a pretty neat feature to have. Anyways, opening it up, you guys can see the hatch will well, pop open. And then you can see you've got the RAV4 floor mat here in the back. We do have a cargo cover here for the rear as well. And then underneath this, we can pick this up. You guys can see underneath, that's the spare tire. Uh, so that's all great. Storage space back here is great. You don't really give anything up because they have all the hybrid components. Well, most of it right under the hood. So that's all fun and nice. And then got that button, press it and, well, you know, safety first. That's really slow though, <laughs> I will say that. Now let's finish things up here with the rear on the RAV4. So you guys can see here with the taillight design, got the SC badge, you got a RAV4 Prime badge. And I love how Prime is like red and aggressive so that people know that this is a uh, high performance RAV4. Um, but other than that, it's pretty normal with the rear. Now here's the door panel in the back. Notice that you've got some padding here where you're gonna rest your arm. And then you guys can see it's actually grippy here with the uh, handle. Now here are the seats. We've got these cloth seats. You can see the design here in the center portion. And then let's actually pop in. So you can see leg room. Ah. It's got reclining seats here in the rear, which is nice. Got some vents here, got some USBs as well. And then you can see that this pulls down to be an armrest and some cup holders. And let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. Again, you can see the padding, all of our window controls here with the mirror adjustments. And then you guys can see here with the mirrors on the side. And here is the seat at the front. So again, you guys can see here the stitching and then the design here in the center. I think they look great. You got your adjustments there on the side of the seat. Pedal layout down below with the rubber floor mats. And you guys can see that for the light control and then that is for the hatch opening and then the padding and stitching right there. And those are more look before we pop in. So here's the steering wheel in the RAV4 Prime. It's actually soft touch all around the steering wheel. And then again, we have more of that red stitching, which looks really nice. We do have cruise control and you guys will notice we've got lane departure assistance as well. And then over here, we've got the controls for the center stack, voice command, volume controls. We have our turn signal light stock and then the windshield wiper stock. And there's the steering wheel. 
Now here is the center gauge cluster. First, there's some menus you can scroll through here in the center, which will give you different bits of information. Um, uh, different parts of the car, right? That was on the hybrid information, for example. So you can see all the different menus that you can uh, scroll through here. Um, but obviously this one's nice because it tells us how much EV range we have and then um, you, the total range and everything. So I think that is great. And then obviously we have the hybrid part right here, which tells us if you're charging, if you're eco, if you're in the power. And then over here, you've got like the gas, for example. And then you guys can see here the uh, battery percentage, the charge on that. And well, that's all for that portion of the uh, center. Um, there are some different uh, modes to go into. So there's an eco mode. And then we have a sport mode and then you push in for normal. And there is actually a trail mode as well. Uh, so they expect you to kind of do some off-roading. Um, and then there's a couple uh, other modes that I'll go over in just a bit. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. So you've got a backup camera with uh, trajectory lines. You guys can see the resolution on that whole setup. Uh, moving on from that to the infotainment system. First off, you can see response time with these buttons is really good. And then when you press the screen, response time with that is fantastic as well. I'm glad that they did analog buttons on either side. So you've got these shortcut buttons and I'll try to block the sunlight so you guys can see this a little bit better. There you go. Nice little setup uh, with all the controls and then notice hazard lights just down below. So we've got really nice stitching here on the dash and then soft touch. And then you guys can see here with the rest of the dash. Let me try to block the sunlight. There you go. You can see again, really nice. I like the design of it overall. Anyways, you can see the climate controls here. This does have dual zone climate. Has heated seats here for the front and then stability control. And then the extra storage space right here. And then charging area, I guess is what we'll call it. Got this for the parking brake, the auto hold shifter for that CVT automatic. And again, it does have a manual shift function. And then notice that we've got the auto EV. Uh, slash HV and then notice that you can change it so you can press this to change between and it'll pop up here right so you can see the uh, change with uh, that whole setup um, but yeah you can just press it with that button and then the drive mode select and then the trail mode I told you guys about earlier couple cup holders right here in this area and then you can see the center console nice setup a couple of uh, USBs in there and then we've got the glove box and then finishing things up here we've got an all black headliner sunglass holder uh, mirror dimmer that's manual and nothing too crazy up top. So here's our window sticker for the RAV4 Prime. Uh, and you guys can see standard equipment uh, with this particular one. And then you can see the optional equipment on it, but there's your base MSRP. And then after the options, which isn't that much, $39,834. And wait for it. Let's uh, take it out of for a test drive of sorts. Let's talk about visibility before we uh, set off. There's your visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors, they do have blind spot. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Okay, so this is uh, going to be an interesting, uh, again, test drive. Um, I can't leave the lot uh, because this is a fleet vehicle. But, you know, we've got to take a leisurely stroll to get back to uh, the parking space that this was in before. And so uh, we will take our leisurely stroll to get back into the parking space. Um, first off, I noticed that it tries to stay in the fully electric mode as long as possible. Like the engine just popped on, um, but I, I just noticed uh, just like most other hybrids from Toyota and just hybrids in general, it tries to stay in the electric mode as long as it possibly can right to save on fuel and all that uh, fun stuff. And uh, again, just taking our leisurely stroll through the parking lot. It feels like a regular RAV4. It really doesn't feel any different. Um, I don't feel any yeah, going over that suspension feels the same and RAV4 is really good from a suspension standpoint they're really comfortable uh, and they actually they kind of have this uh, luxury-esque uh, feel to it and I think that's because they kind of pre-engineer these to be uh, you know a Lexus basically that's kind of what Toyota and Lexus do nowadays um, you know components are very similar get a little bit of an acceleration here Ooh, <laughs> it's actually kind of quick wow was not expecting it to be, I mean, 300 horsepower, but still. This is quick for a RAV4. My uh, mom owns a hybrid RAV4 and it does not feel, wow, yeah. Yeah, her, her RAV4 is not that quick. <laughs> um, now, uh, Toyota does have one of these in the press fleet right now. I do know that. So I probably will be getting one of these as a loaner pretty soon. Um, so if you're not subscribed already, I'd recommend subscribing. When I get that, I'll be able to, you know, actually drive this around rather than, you know, doing a little circle in the uh, parking lot. But I can tell you, this is, <laughs> this, is a, this is crazy for a RAV4. Um, yeah, this is an interesting vehicle. I think, I think it's pretty cool, right? Plug-in hybrid. So 
you can charge it at home and you can do all electric driving, right? That's that's pretty attractive. Um, being able to, you know, go to the store and all that kind of stuff and not use any gas. Uh, I like that fact. And then obviously it's gonna help out with fuel economy quite a bit. I mean, this thing without the hybrid component can still get like, th can already get 30 miles per gallon. And then you add in the hybrid fact and it's even more. Um, so yeah, I think uh, overall, I think it's a really good package. I'm glad that they offer it in base models like this. Like I'm glad that they don't make you go and buy like, a uh, you know fully loaded RAV4 to get the Prime. I'm glad that you can get like an you know relatively base car like this and still get the Prime powertrain. Uh, so I think that's definitely awesome. And yeah, I think it looks good. Uh, from what I could feel, it's it's quick, and it gets you know it's gonna it's something that would get great fuel economy. So like yeah, I just I think this is the best version that they've ever released of the RAV4. I think that uh, I'm not saying the other RAV4s in the past were bad, but this is great. Now imagine if they did this and then they threw on the TRD package. So they did like a prime TRD. That would be pretty cool, pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, that's the new prime and hopefully I'll be able to like really uh, drive one in the near future. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2022 Toyota RAV4 Prime. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller, Toyota here in Murray for giving me some time with this RAV4. Check out their inventory in the description down below. I will see all of you in that next video.